Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anton Duval, Spectrist. Most of you tonight expected to see the mystical duo of Kasparov and Duval. It is with a heavy heart I must inform you. Emil Kasparov, my dearest friend and partner of the last ten years, passed away this morning after a mercifully brief illness. After much introspection, I have decided to continue tonight's performance myself. I believe just what my good Kasparov would have wished for. Sadly, this is not the shocking news I shall impart tonight. The loss I have suffered today has left me with one inescapable conclusion. We are, none of us, immortal. Even the stoutest of hearts will one day beat its last. As such, I shall be retiring after tonight's performance. Please, please, please! I wanted you, my final audience, to hear this from my lips before the ink peddlers made the story their own. Tonight shall be the last seance of Anton Duvain, dedicated to the memory of a good man taken too soon. I am the world's only accredited spectralist. The journey we take tonight is not for the faint-hearted. You have been warned. My assistants have gathered objects from random members of tonight's audience. Through the last art of psychopathy, I shall pull from these objects memories, fragments of their previous owners. sense of presence. Very strong. A man. Marcus. His name is Marcus? Can you hear me? Is this your book, Marcus? Good. Contact has been established. sense of great sorrow, a profound sadness. I see the image of a woman, young and happy long ago. Your wife, Marcus. Your bride of many years. She is still among the living. She is with us here tonight in the audience. You, madame. Your husband, Marcus, is with us tonight. He lingers in the netherworld between this realm and the next. He wishes to speak to you, madame, one last time. Is that right, Marcus? Very well. I shall now place myself into a hypnagogic trance. A technique I learned from the Zabor priests of New Orleans. <clears throat> Allow me one moment. <laughs> Dear Marcus will not be with us tonight. Not that he was ever really here. Wondering how old Duvan pulled off that trick. But it's quite simple, really. Weeks before the performance, old Anton would comb through the obituaries, looking for well to do corpses, the types with grieving relatives, relatives that could afford tickets to our show. And then he'd do his research. Anton, you see, was a private investigator in a former life. He'd memorize what he had dug up, 
and then our assistants would keep a watch out. You, madame, uh, Marcus's widow. I'm afraid our assistants did not take your book by chance. <laughs> you were on Anton's list. He was about to put on his fake old man voice. And you gullible sheep would have eaten out of his hand. The only thing he didn't account on was me. Emil Kasparov, at your service. <laughs> well, I couldn't disappoint my devoted fans, could I? You all expected to see Kasparov and Duvan tonight. And here we are, in the one body. You're strong! What are you doing, Kasparov? Well, I'm ruining you, my dear Duvan, isn't it obvious? Mm -hmm. You see, Duvan, Myself, yes, Duvan, you were putting poison in my tea for the last six months, unbeknownst to myself. Slowly, my health began to diminish, and as I began to feel my mortal coil, Anton played his final hand. Emil Kasparov had no family, and only had only one friend. It seems sensible to leave my not insubstantial <coughs> savings to my dearest friend of ten years. It's a lie! Don't believe them! Why would I lie? What, what do I have to lose? I have already slipped my mortal coil. Ladies and gentlemen, the man you see before you is a vile murderer. And this is his full confession. Hopefully now the gendarmes have arrived. Ah, yes, I see your blue hats at the back. <clears throat> One moment. I, Anton Duvan, hereby admit the premeditated and malicious murder of a finer man that has ever walked the earth. The kindly, raucously handsome <laughs> Emil Kasparov. In an attempt to swindle his uh, substantial savings and... Uh, Free myself from my <laughs> deserved second billing. Uh, I envenomed Mr. Kasparov over the period of six months, using a small dosage of arsenic to resemble a blood disorder. If you examine my apartment, you will find veils of the stuff hidden, hidden beneath the floorboards. Now that, along with my full confession, should ensure my date at the gallows. <laughs> oh, and of course, the courts do not recognize spirit possession, so let's just say that my guilt was too much for me, and my feeble, inferior mind snapped. That sounds rather plausible, does it not? <laughs> I hope you burn in hell, Kasparov! I will ensure to reserve you a seat next to mine. And though it pains me to do so, ladies and gentlemen, I must now take my final bow. It's not how I imagined my career as a master prestigitator to uh, end. But it does seem rather apropos, does it not? So ladies and gentlemen, farewell. And safe home. Christ, what the hell just happened? <laughs>